Today we made a part to handle the problem of the X belt the grinding down here. You can kind of see that it floats a little bit below where it's connected to the carrier. And then it gets inside the channel here. See a little better here on the top. Thing is, this belt is wider than the channel. So it winds up grinding on the edge of the belt when it goes from outside to inside. Got the solution done and testing over on another Ender 3. So the solution is add some bearings, add some idler bearings, keep the whole thing, keep the whole belt from going inside the channel. Found it on Thingiverse. This was the original model. And then they had this for relocating the X stop switch. Did some checking. It's going to need to grind some out. And then it's going to need to make some standoffs because you have to replace this part here. The stock folder for the X limit switch goes inside there, bolts in, screws in. Whatever. I had to remake something, I went ahead and remade it into this part here. Just added a block going up that the switch will bolt to, screw to, and then it still slots in. So this, this ramp here, had this giant block attached to it. Well, giant, because you're like zoomed in. But had that attached to it, so that way you can just attach the limit switch there. There is a problem though, I'll have to rectify it later. Did not notice, but that screw there that holds the rail on to that carrier back there. That doesn't let you tap into the end of the extrusion so that way you can use this bolt hole to mount it to it. Uh, doing a test, first test, and as soon as the carrier hit that limit switch it bumped it back just a little bit. So I will be relocating this, possibly adding another part, another piece onto this to extend it down and screw it in. Uh, I'll figure something out. Or the cat in the background, it always wants. Anyway, this will handle the grinding of the belt. You can kind of see that it's ground a little bit there on that one. Not ground so much there where it doesn't go into the channel. This end, don't have that much of a problem with. I upgraded the bolts. Hold this idler on on this end. I'm able to droop it just a little bit. It floats it in the top of the channel, and it keeps it all down below and outside. That will help the belts last a little bit longer.